Hi everyone, how's it going? Tim here, and uh, this is yet another live stream for building products with JavaScript. We're going to continue our Electron JS uh, coding, and uh, since we set up the project completely last time, we are going to start uh, doing the actual code. So I'm going to fire up VS Code here, and uh, we are going to get uh, working. So let's see. We basically did what we set up the base project, right? But now we need to actually start doing the whole rendering stuff. So um, I think the UI can wait a bit until we actually know what kind of uh, things we can get from the services and what can we actually render. So what we're going to start today is actually working on services. So I would suggest that we start with a crunchy roll actually and uh, before we do anything, I want to go ahead and search for existing packages. So Crunchyroll, uh, let's see, we got two packages. Um, in case you don't know, Crunchyroll is an anime service, uh, which is basically Netflix, but for anime, uh, I like I constantly use it. I mean, I watch a lot of anime, but you know, this is uh, something that I do, I wouldn't say daily, but quite frequently. But the UI they have is, well, it's not specifically good. It's okay, but I would want it better. And you know, I want a desktop client. They have mobile clients, but not desktop ones. So it's definitely something I would want to have. So we're going to have a look at that. Mm, right. So we have a GitHub repo here. We have a GitHub repo here. My internet is being a bit slow and my cat is starting to destroy boxes there. So if you hear any loud noises in the background, that's my cat. Uh, right, so let's see here. This was updated two years ago and most likely is broken. And this was updated um, eight months, 20 days ago. So this is actually pretty fresh fork of crap. Oh, okay, so this is actually a better fork of this. Okay, it's capable of downloading anime episodes from Crunchyroll. This might be what we want, but might not be what we want as well. So we'll have a look. So I guess there is no um, no API or whatever library for that, right? So let me just make sure. I think there is no API for Crunchyroll. So basically whatever, uh, okay, there's a Python implementation of it, but I guess that's it, right? I mean, we can use Python implementation as reference that, that should work for us. Let's see, Python phrase and undocumented, undocumented API. Uh, okay, uh, let us have a look at that. So what do they actually have here? Models, uh, now that, that looks boring. Let's go have a look at the uh, Ajax. Okay, so it's just scraping as well, right. Um, I guess we're gonna roll with scraping then. So I'm gonna close all of that as we need, don't need it. So we are gonna scrape Crunchyroll because why the hell not? Um, let us create an API folder. I mean, yeah, let's just start by hard coding that and then let's see how that goes. Uh, so I'm gonna create index.js over here and then I'm gonna create crunchyroll and no, roll.js here. And then I'm gonna export uh, crunchyroll, gonna be require um, crunchy, no. Wait, it should be like this, right? There you go. So we're gonna just use this as a bootstrap file and export whatever APIs we're gonna use. Now, module exports, uh, wait, module export, wait, where's my auto suggest? Uh, that is not what I want, module, uh, no suggestions, is something broken? Yes, Lint, are you okay? Yes, you seem to be okay. Um, right, okay, I mean, whatever, module, exports, um, I guess it's gonna be an object, right? So as far as I remember, uh, let me just quickly go to drive, um, uh, hell if I remember where I had that. Give me a second, I will have a quick look here. I actually need to, oh, I completely forgot to announce that I'm streaming on a Discord channel, so, uh, let me do that real quick and then we can continue crunching the crunchy roll because stupid puns. Haha. -ha. Right. Um, so, wait a second. Streaming electron coming, coming out. Twitch TV MLI. There we go. Cool. Uh, this is now announced. Um, let me think. Ta -da -da, what did I want to do? 
I now forgot what I wanted to do, which is a bit unfortunate. Right. Oh yeah, I wanted to find the. Uh, let me go ahead and find it here in uh, off window so that I don't actually <laughs> show you all my working documents that are not supposed to be public yet. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me think. Uh, it should be here. No, that's not. The, it should be in electron folder. And there we go. There's our project description that you no doubt have already seen. Close that. Uh, so we have what? We have, yeah, so we have serious catalog. Uh, so basically uh, get all serious, something like this, I guess. I mean, we're gonna rename the uh, things later on. Uh, we get, uh, get episodes for uh, serious, right? This is another one. Uh, I got damn it, my alt tab switches to the wrong window. Okay, uh, okay, then get episode, episode. Um, I'm not sure that's the best way to name it for now, but let's see. Okay, uh, my get my series, I guess, is gonna be this is gonna be the bookmark things, and we're gonna have search, right? Search query. I think that should do it. I don't think we're gonna need anything else here. So yeah, that should be fine. Obviously there's some errors here. Um, right, so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna need here, we're gonna do uh, scraping, right? Because as I said, Crunchyroll doesn't have any API, so we're gonna do web scraping, which means for that we would need some um, request libraries, some parsing libraries, and I think that's it. One question is that basically does Crunchyroll actually allow uh, basic, do they have any bot prevention stuff? It doesn't seem so, at least for now. So let's just go ahead and um, define some URIs. So base URL, that's gonna be crunchyroll.com, right? Right, so packages, uh, what do we already have here? We have uh, only React. Okay, so let's use um, Axios for requests and we're gonna use, I always forget the name of it. I think it's just Cheerio, right? We're gonna use Cheerio for um, processing, which is basically a Node.js based jQuery like, uh, allows for jQuery like selectors. And I need the Axios documentation. Uh, by the way, Axios is the um, uh, promise-based HTTP client for browser and nodes. It's way better to use with the latest node versions because you can await all of that stuff. So, okay, uh, let us do npm packages and we're gonna say Axios uh, require Axios and uh, we're gonna need Cheerio require Cheerio. And theoretically, we should move all of that out into a separate package. But uh, as I said, for now, we're just going to hard code that. This URL use, uh, wait, what used for most requests. And then main module. Right, okay, so we are going to start with get all serious. I guess we're going to do a sync uh, requests for everything. What are you not liking? Parsing error, unexpected token. Uh, I think you should, wait, what? I think that's, that should be allowed, right? Is that, I am a bit confused. No, wait, this, okay, you know what? Let us, um, let us do it this way. So model experts, uh, this is gonna be crunchy roll object, right? Uh, it's gonna be a sync. And then model exports Crunchyroll, there we go. So we're just gonna go ahead and export a simple object. What am I doing? Is it, no, I mean, that, that should be allowed as far as I remember. Wait a second, um, MDN, where's my MDN? Sync await. I might be forgetting some syntax because I haven't written that like objects uh, with the sync functions in a while, but let us have a look at the references. A sync function, yeah, that's uh, so the examples. This is uh, this is uh, 
looks fine. This looks fine. Uh, sync function expression. Uh, yeah, okay, that one you don't like. So JS is sync object function. Am I am I forgetting something? Is that not something you can? No, this is exactly the same thing. Uh, yes, this is the question. I mean, I can obviously de just declare an arrow function. Yeah, so that that should theoretically work, right? Uh, that is a bit weird. Maybe it wants a weight in there. No, it doesn't. Uh, okay, now here's the here's the question. What if I just do node source API Crunchyroll? Uh, it doesn't throw any errors, so that is an error with um, ah, of course, uh, it's an ESLint error because I thought I want 2016 while I think await is what 2017 feature. Okay, cool. We fixed that. Good. Um, now, what we need is we need to um, actually get so axios um, axios get so base URL, right? So we're gonna just load the base URL at first, uh, and I want to see the axios docs. Uh, I think response was the object that contains some properties. Is there a response description somewhere? Uh, response data. That's what we want. No, I think data might be wrong maybe uh, is it okay, I guess I guess data should be what we need so we're going to destruct that and let's just uh, let's just see if it actually returns what we expect it to return so I'm going to do a simple test case here uh, my microphone cable is in my way and it's a bit annoying there we go Right, so we want to do Crunchyroll get all series, and uh, now I'm just going to execute it here and undefined. Ah, uh, right, okay, of course, that's going to be a promise, so I need to wait it. And uh, that's probably going to kill my hyper. That <laughs> uh, It's still very annoying that hyper doesn't really deal well with the long texts. Okay, it actually un unlagged back. Um, right, okay, so that seems, uh, let us see this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that seems to be okay. So, which means that we need to get a catalog, right? So we got this shows thing. Um, and uh, what is this loading thing? Okay, so I just have the endless pagination, I guess, right? Okay, I guess uh, we need to load that. I don't know if, if it's of any use to allow this like sort of browsing, but we're gonna do it anyway, because why the hell not? We're gonna see if that's useful or not later on. Um, and uh, I guess we should do it this way. Because trading spaces are not pretty. Okay, so that should get us this page, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pipe it into Sublime and there we go so now we should see a nicer output see some stuff here and i think here's our uh yeah okay of course it it's like uh yeah there we go so that's actually our enemies that we want to parse right so what we need to do next is to throw it into cheerio which is this bit so we're gonna say uh, Cheerio loads um, data. And this is exactly what we want. So uh, this is gonna be loads um, catalog, uh, create a Cheerio cursor, right? And then from here on, we can just start using that cursor to actually uh, select whatever we want and get that as um, so we're gonna say series and that's gonna be um, now we have to look here so it's gonna be Lee with class I guess it's gonna be okay let's go from div media content so it's gonna be div media um, content so let's let's do it this way okay Content. It's gonna set a content first, and then we're gonna say we want Lee with class group item. I think those should be the uh, series. Yeah, exactly. Cool. 
So we're gonna say we want that within content, right? And then um, let's just uh, iterate over that. So there's gonna be index element. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap that and say HTML. And we're just gonna print that to see if we're actually picking up the correct elements. That's your uh, web scraping 101. <laughs> It actually works relatively well for most of the websites. Um, and uh, what? Okay, that is a bit weird. So it doesn't output anything. Okay, let us check what went wrong. Console log content. Does it actually select content correctly? Seems to be, uh, where's the length one? Okay, so that seems to be correct. Um, group minus item, is it my minus item? Okay, yes. Maybe, maybe let's just try without li. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, what the hell? Let's have a look at the HTML of that thing. Uh, and uh, now we'll pipe it into Sublime and it's null. Okay. Does it use any Ajax to fetch those things? Let's find out. Um, so clear that, all refresh. Ta -da 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 -da. Mm, let's see, so this is the original page, right? So we first select this uh, main content. So let's say main content. No, it does have them from the very start. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Um, Right, let's maybe try it. What if we just do a um, main content into li like this? So log series, let's see, does that work? Uh, yeah, that actually does. Okay, so um, length one, although that doesn't seem to be Oh, wait, I forgot, I forgot to save, didn't I? Yes. Okay, so that's empty again, which is exactly not exactly what we want. Um, I guess it make, makes sense to just print the data again and, and try to find, maybe they do have some sort of scraping prevention. So let's see, main content. Yeah, yeah here it is, okay. Oh, it's an ID, okay. Ah, that explains everything. I screwed up a bit. Okay, cool. Uh, we can actually roll that back. So there we go. Um, yes, yes. Uh, so that should be main content. And uh, group item is a class, right? So I did not screw that up. Um, blah, 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 elements. Yes, it is a class. Okay, cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um, theoretically, that should return us a bunch of... Uh, there we go. So we get our, uh, this is the inner HTML basically of whatever the containers that we pick up, right? So this is the wrappers exactly. Cool. Now, um, what we need is to pick up the uh, item type. Okay, they actually have a um, schema work here, which is pretty cool, but we don't really need that. So we are gonna parse this uh, inner HTML for each of those elements. Um, const ele elements, uh, so we're gonna wrap it. And then what we're gonna do is, uh, where was my, did I close it? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, so what do we have? A title, so we need to find A first, right? Let's do it this way within elements. And then um, let's say get, um, get title so that title will be uh, a attribute title. So this is gonna be our enemy title, right? We are gonna have, uh, this is gonna be the URI for it. So const URL a attribute uh, href, but this needs to be um, is URL and then this needs to be uh, this one, right? So this, this is gonna construct the URL for it. Portrait, blah, 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 spawn image holder. Okay, then we're gonna have the uh, image. 
title and URL get image which means that this is gonna be image within element image is gonna be a uh, where's it uh, was sublime um so we need image source okay this is gonna be image attribute source it source it there we go and do we need anything else here um yeah i mean we can parse this serious data thing as well because why the hell not get serious um i guess videos count i think it's always videos count right it just says how many videos they have so uh this is gonna be serious data and we're gonna go for um uh, element is it only one series data thing here yeah it is okay cool and then uh basically count is gonna be the series data text and then uh two videos is there one video somewhere one okay they just always say video so we're gonna trim the text and then we're gonna replace um, videos with, I mean, we don't actually need a regex here, right? We can just do a simple replace and trim it again. And that should be it. And then I actually, we can just map here, right? So we don't really need the each, is there a map thing? Yes, there we go. So again, index element. Okay, so we're gonna map it, but I think the uh, Cheerio has a weird map API, so it's not actually a ray map. Function element, uh, yeah, you need to do get after that, which will return array. So that should be get, so this will give us an array and uh, we can actually simplify it like this. We apply formatting. What do you not like here? I uh, return, yeah, okay. So actually return uh, serious data. And in this case, we're just gonna return title, U a URL, uh, image and count. There we go. And uh, console log serious, right? So this is uh, theoretically if I execute this now, we should actually see a nice array of all the series that we have there. There we go some weird titling here and there and the counts are actually um so this should be parse int right because this is a number and we want to parse it with a base 10. what do you don't like about series data um, no wait, come on format this thing there we go cool so we got that um but this is only gonna get us the first page right so we actually want to see what happens when we scroll down and uh, um, can we just wait a second wait a second do they have an ajax api that we can just use without scrape uh, like it would be nice you know if i don't have to parse page zero do you work yeah you do cool so we <laughs> there's a simpler way of doing that after all we did but um, that actually seems to be html as well which i guess they just render that on a page cool so we, that saves us some kilobytes uh, of data and um, a lot of headaches with parsing actually right so what we need is uh, how does the uri looks videos anime popular ajax and then page number right so page which means that in this case here we need to say page and the default one will be zero uh, let me reformat that okay we don't need that anymore which means we don't care about the content because it's gonna be just content. Uh, and we just can simplify it like this, right? Uh, yeah, that should work, right? So let's check it out. Cool, that's perfect. And I think if we now say uh, get page one, we should actually see a different output. Awesome, so there we go, series works, we have pagination. Um, the problem would be to figure out why, like which page is the last, but uh, we can leave that for later, which means that here it actually should be a return series, right? And we are done with that. So 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use that within the app itself and render it on screen uh, on say home page, right? Um, okay, yeah, but before we can do that, we actually need to set up some sort of a state management. So it would be nice to cache all of that stuff. So let's see. Um, Electron JS database. Um, I guess we can take something like couch or pouch DB, I think it was. Uh, Dexy, yeah, pouch DB. And then the question here. Because you know it has like the cursors in there. Oh, I think there was even cooler thing. So there was this RxDB thing, which was actually PouchDB wrapped into RxJS, which you know something that I definitely do like. And uh, ta -da -da, exactly same code. At, yeah, yeah, I know that. And then the question is, do they have the Redux integration, which would be even better because then we can just dump dump everything into database, and then the uh, React will pick it up from uh, Redux and just render it, right? Okay, uh, let us see that I have examples here. So, um, React, there we go. Source uh, database, plugin, adapter IDB, uh, replication, HTTP, we don't need all of that, I think. Create. Okay, that looks like just a creation of a database itself, which definitely something that we would need, but I am more interested in how the app works. Component, super state props, hero insert, hero list. Okay, I guess uh, this is the hero list is what I wanna see. Uh, bind DB, okay, so it just uses this, I mean, we can do that as well. So I guess we don't really need a, a re Redux here, right? Yeah, I guess let's start with without a Redux. Let's just start with the database and see if we uh, really need a Redux here, right? So RxDB, uh, we do need RxJS, and we don't care about Babel Polyfill because we have the uh, latest uh, Electron and Node, so that should work just fine. Cool, uh, yeah, so we need that example and we need to have a look at the database here. Um, that no, not in the pages. I want it in source. Let's just say DB folder. We're gonna do index.js and uh, let's have a look. So, const rxdb require rxdb. There we go. Uh, collection. Okay, so I guess we define our collections here. Reformat that, please. Um, name series schema okay we need some sort of a schema here methods we don't care about methods for now uh synchronous i don't honestly care about that for the moment okay uh schema is what we need next let's see um schema js so okay that is question is do they allow uh, that allows schema less thing, I guess. Do, 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 mango query. Yes, I do like the reactiveness and queries. Uh, the question is schema, no encryption, level adapters, import export, uh, example project, reading the docs. Maybe maybe there's a simpler setup in docs because we don't really need schema now because I'm not 100% sure you know what how the data will actually look. Um, yes, require, yes, I uh, should continue here. Okay, there we go, that's what I wanna see. Um, so let's forget about that for now. So um, const init async, so it's gonna be our initialization method that should be called somewhere. Um, let's forget that I have a shortcut for just formatting everything now name so it's gonna be a series db or i guess yeah whatever series db adapter is uh web i mean fine i think web sql should be fine right because i don't really care what backend it uses optional password is something we don't need multi instance is something we don't need um yeah that seems straightforward a module no, wait, it should be exports init init, right? And then actually the DB should be um, 
uh, yeah, DB should be the exported variable as well, right? So it's gonna be just an object. Okay, uh, console dear DB. So the basically what we need to do is an index in our bootstrap. This is gonna be pages. Uh, so um, I actually, oh yeah, right. I can actually use imports. I keep forgetting in which project I use ES6 and which not. Um, I don't prefer these days to just use the uh, node with default require syntax because you know I don't have to uh, care much about setting up Babel and all that stuff. But I still do like um, I'm what do you call it the from the import syntax more than the require syntax. Okay, export Crunchyroll from now. You know what? I actually need to. Uh, yes, there we go. So export const Crunchyroll, we can kill that. Okay, uh, prefer default, yeah, 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 that's not something I care about right now. So we can import DB from, no, we don't need to do, no, okay, yeah, we can import DB and I need from um, DB, right? And what we need to do here is we need to say init and then we need to say then console dear db so just to check that the database actually works uh, npm starts the web, please electron fail to install correct uh, did i screwed something up let us let us reinstall node modules oh yeah i updated node.js so they probably are out of date right which is a bit unfortunate but uh, let's see how that goes Unmet pure dependency Babel polyfill. Why the hell do you need Babel polyfill in the latest Node.js? Okay, I'm now starting to think that this Rx database might not be the best way to go. Which is, it really says here there's a pure dependency, right? Uh, I don't like that. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, there we go. Uh, regen yeah, come on. It tries to, you don't need regenerator runtime for this. We already have everything working. Okay. I guess that is not the database we're going to be using then, which is a bit sad, but whatever. Um, okay. So we need to what yarn, uh, remove. No, I don't actually, we, we do want to use our XJS, but we don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and then use pouch DB. Mm that should be sufficient right so guides let's go ahead and, and setting up pouch db we don't need replication so yarn odd pouch db and uh, yeah so we're gonna do import pouch db from pouch db and now the question is working with databases yes this is what i want to see it's yeah, still installing a uh, new pouch db kittens straightforward i guess we don't even need an init here right so we can just say uh, const db new pouch db series for now that should be uh, sufficient export default db we're going to export it as a default come on that is a lot of things okay is it i I wonder, PowerDB Electron. I wonder if we would need to use the Electron native module builder for that. PowerDB, PowerDB browser. Okay, so we need the browser package, I guess. Ah, I see. Okay, um, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to remove that. Uh, and then add the browser version, which I guess makes sense. So PowerDB browser in here, adapter web. I mean, I don't care about the adapter in this DB should be fine. I don't think we're gonna store that much that we would need web square in there. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, uh, local remote databases info 
Okay, so we can try to actually get the info from it just to see that it works, right? So const init. So in this case, db would be that. And I guess we can just, uh, we don't need to import it here, right? Uh, let me think. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. So we got that. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and import it over here. So there's gonna be npm packages and it's gonna be our packages. Import db from db. There we go. And uh, I guess I would have to rewrite this to use classes because we want to actually do we need and all that kind of stuff. So export default class uh, home. Uh, extends react component right da, da, da. so render this is what we want to see here return format that stuff man i do love prettier it just makes everything so much easier i guess we have to tweak this things a bit oh maybe not okay because Constructor, we want the constructor here. Uh, super, so we're gonna call super over here. And uh, in this case, init is gonna be a sync function here. I'm gonna say info db info, we await that. And uh, console log db info, info, right? So that. Uh, this state uh, am I doing yeah okay I'm doing the wrong thing here I'm, I'm it's been a while since I've written the stateful components but whatever okay this state and then we're gonna just call this in it over here and what do you not like here this expected yeah 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 whatever that's fine um, npm start And where is, oh, I have to open the home actually. Yeah, there we go, okay, cool. So we got in the database, great. Now, ta -da -da. so actually on constructor, what we need to, and uh, I guess not on constructor, right? So we need the component with, uh, did mount probably. We need to, um, the question is, are we gonna actually have any asynchronous changes here? Not really, we just wanna re reload this stuff. No, we actually gonna have asynchronous changes, right? So DB, now the question here is uh, working with documents. That's what I wanna see. Put, get, uh this is put get is there um synchronous code this is callbacks this is promises yeah 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 is there like on changes because this is what we want to have right so we want to just monitor changes and uh conflict change feeds there we go it's like this is the base like best thing ever about databases that you can just say hey i want to see changes on um, whatever collections. So I guess it's gonna be better if we take the database and say that it actually is a bunch of databases, right? So I'm gonna say series, um, what else did we have? Series, episodes, 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 um, um i mean do we need like okay we can just leave it at that for now and then extend it later right so there's going to be db serious changes and what options does it take since zero um where's the what is since since now perfect and on change on error so i would basically want to wrap that into rxjs 
I guess this is exactly what this RxDB did, but like, why the hell would you want me to include the polyfill for you to work? Like, this is, <laughs> this is just annoying. Um, or exchange your end. Let's have a look how they implemented it. Uh, construction, this data, blah, 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 sockets. That seems elaborate. Right, let us do a tiny tool, I guess. Const change feed. Let's change feed stream, basically, right? And uh, this is going to be, okay, I guess, serious changes. No. Okay, so it's going to be change feed stream, and then this is going to be the DB. We're going to pass in the DB. Okay, import um, rxjs from rxjs. Okay, um, I guess the IntelliSense doesn't really work for. Um, okay, rxjs, there we go. I want, I, I think they had a recipe for the stream somewhere here. Okay, learn it. Um, we need what? We need observable from, and the question is, do they have just observable from stream? Because as far as I can understand, this is actually, I guess we can do a observable from event, right? So from event, there we go. Um, I guess, yeah, we can just import absor observable here say return um, observable from event so this is target is going to be our db i mean okay i'm not even sure i need that helper function anymore because that seems to be very simple from events db uh so that actually should be uh, series db changes right so this this is what is going to be here and then the second event name changes uh, ba, 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 let me think. So this is what, what I need. Uh, we need live true, include docs true. Yes, we need all of that. Live true, include docs. Uh, we need event changes on change. Okay, not changes, change. And uh, ta, 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 and then we just monitor that. Um, let me format this. So subscribe. This is going to be change console log series db change, right? And we're going to just log it for now just to see how exactly that looks and behaves. Um, and uh, yeah, I forgot to move the observable over here. Okay, and uh, component will unmount. So we actually need to. Um, unsubscribe and I keep forgetting how they changed the unsubscribe was it just unsubscribe yeah it was okay so they keep forgetting that it's like dispose is no longer disposed but something else uh, so and then this uh, sub there you go okay so in theory uh, okay first of all let's make sure that actually works there you go home that seems to be working. And then basically once we enter, we need to trigger the um, uh, cruncher all thing, right? So which actually should also access um, our packages. And I need to rewrite that into uh, import statements too, because consistency, there you go. Import DB from um, DB, there we go. Right, and in this case, we are gonna say DB series, uh, how do I add documents in bulk? Da -da -da, updating, deleting, working with documents. So put, put, puts only one, right? So there should be bulk update. I mean, come on, all the, all the databases have this API reference, that's what I want to see. Um, put, let's see, bulk, bulk get, create update batch of documents. There we go. Uh, yeah, okay, so we just say bulk docs and do that. And we await that and then we 
can return series just for the sake of it. So store in the DB. Okay. Um, and then here we need to say crunchy roll. Um, it actually from API, right? So we get the crunchy roll and then you need we say crunchy roll, get all series. So trigger list update, which actually, um, I wonder if, yeah, so theoretically we don't need to trigger it second time, right? Because we actually wanna cache that and see if the database is older than whatever, a few hours, I guess, uh, or unless user presses reload button and only then we do the uh, reload. But okay, let's see how that works. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop this out and put it nearby so that it's actually a bit easier to look at that. There we go. We now have our all our things here. Changes. Okay, that dev tools are jumping a bit. So which means okay, changes zero rev. How do I say what actually happened? There was something change feeds. There was some way to actually say change change deleted. We don't have that. I guess it only depicts if it's deleted. Yeah, okay, so there's only two states if it's either deleted or added modified. Right, so what we need to do here is say uh, filter change so the change deleted. So it's not deleted, right? I'm gonna say map change to uh, change document, which means that here we're gonna get docs. Um, da -da 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 doc, uh, and then we're gonna do scan um, accumulator doc accumulator concat uh, doc and then the initial value is mtra and then in subscribe we're going to have docs right so we're going to format that which means that now once i actually restart that we should get the array of uh, series on every update and it should be bigger bigger and bigger there we go so that actually gives us the full array of series and what we can do so we don't actually care about is there a batch uh change feed so because we don't need the all the updates coming on uh together i guess there is not so we can take our xgs and say that we want um throttle is it i always mess up throttle and debounce it's a value that ignores subsequent values for the duration yeah okay so we're gonna throttle time scan and we're going to do that after a throttle time and we're going to say every second i guess we don't really care about updates faster than second right no okay let's actually see what will we get if we do that we only get the first one which is not what we want right so i guess we want debounce oh man i always confuse those two <laughs> it's like every time uh emits after particularly without another yeah there we go so we want debound section not throttle debound time uh, one second i guess in this case 500 milliseconds should be more than enough let us check if that actually works there we go uh, that, that seems even okay it emits twice not what we want so let's go with one second There we go. So now we have a nice list of uh, 200 entries, which we can actually go ahead and uh, do the set state and render them, right? So this uh, series is gonna be a blank array for now. So series, um, this set state series, right? Cool, and just to make sure that it actually works, I am gonna do a terrible thing. This state, um, 
you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm gonna do this serious this state okay serious so this theoretically if it works we should see the uh, huge JSON dump on a screen which is sub perfect but hey there you go cool so it actually works now let me just copy a bunch of that um, I don't really need to copy that right okay so what we need to do is we need to render that so um, I'm gonna say map um, as we're gonna map it into a serious component where serious is gonna be s okay so now we need to actually create a serious component um, it's gonna create components folder. We're gonna create series compo folder into it. I'm gonna say index.js. So let me just take all that and we're gonna kill whatever we don't need from here, which means just about everything. I guess in this case, it can be a stateless component. So we're gonna say uh, prop series. Uh, yeah, we can just leave a render here. And um, yeah, we don't actually need that. So there we go. Okay, so this is serious. And in this case, we need to go here and see what we have. So we have that, which means, um, do we actually attached any CSS frameworks last time? I don't believe so, right? We just had React. Okay, for now, we're just gonna render it in a stupid way. Title, and I guess, yeah, I guess we can just do this. Um, URL, serious URL, serious title. Okay. Um, image source a uh, serious image and then doo -doo -doo, I guess we can just say um, span serious count right okay uh, what do you don't like here oh yeah I think okay now we need to import the our uh, let's say components uh, import uh, series from com come on component series there we go and in theory we should see uh, not so nice but at least a rendered list of uh, things there we go uh, each okay we need a key prop here so key should be uh, brr, 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 brr. let me think um, there is actually no way to access the there's no like react tools or anything which is a bit annoying but um, hey so key will be s there is some property from a database ba, 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 ba. let me think id is it the underscore id Rev, there we go. We can use Rev, right? Um, format that stuff, there we go. So now we should not have any errors and we should have a long list of series here. Each child and array, uh, but I, I gave you prop. Oh, no, wait, I have a key. Home for, yeah, so what do you don't like? I have the key here now. And there's no race here, so we don't have any key. Um, Sam forty six. I mean, show it to me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, come on. I have key. What are you? What are you not happy about? Right. Let me try to. Um, okay. Console log series. Let's just have a look that am I using the wrong there was a rev right I'm, I'm not seeing things oh, come on oh, okay there is underscore ID so that should I think work better 
Hey, you don't like dangling underscore. We're gonna fix the yes lean at some point as well. Happy now. Not happy. Oh, uh, pff, ah, come on, of course. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um that's a bit. There we go. Okay, now it works. So we have actually the output and uh, I guess we need to make it. So let's first of all, let's commit that. Um, let me see the changes. So we changed the ECMA script to this. We added our XJS, of HDB, basic cruncher all stuff. This is all yarn. Um, yeah, I guess so git commit, add basic crunchy roll scraping API for a serious catalog, right? So we want that. Um, now we need to make it look kind of nicer than what it is now. So uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna close that for now. So we're gonna just focus on the visuals for now. And then um, I guess that was a bad idea to close that. We're gonna leave it open. Um, I suggest we're gonna use uh, Bulma.js. So even though, come on, mouse, work, there we go. Uh, even though, you know, the bootstrap is the most common framework, I actually like Bulma way more because it's Flexbox based. So it's like way easier to use. Uh, and, uh, you know, Flexbox is working relatively, uh, not relatively, it's working perfectly well in new browsers and we're kind of locked into latest, one of the latest Chromes. So it's gonna work fine. And it does not rely on any JavaScript. So we're not gonna have any problems with like, um, pop-ups or whatever, because they're all purely CSS and it works really well with um, React. So I've used it a bunch of times already in my other projects. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna put the uh, font awesome. Yeah, okay, um, th no, that's not what I wanted to do. Font awesome is what we need as well, because why the hell not? Okay, um, p -p 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 getting started. I think I think there was a yarn pack or like the node package for font awesome, right? Come on, font awesome. Yeah, there we go, yarn. Hey, come on, font awesome. Okay, um, so what we need to do is we need that thing, uh, index.js. Sorry, index HTML. So uh, in this case, this is gonna be um, relative, right? So nodes, modules, font, awesome. Um, now the question is, what the hell does the path looks like? CSS, font, awesome, in CSS. There we go. And uh, we don't need to customize it, so I guess we can just include at least not yet. We're gonna see if we're gonna use like some SAS or whatever. Uh, in this case, we can just node modules, um, Bulma CSS, Bulma CSS. Um, there was a min thing, or was it in a dist or something? Um, okay, wait a second, that doesn't seem correct. Node modules, Bulma CSS, um, come on. No, okay, I guess they removed the min version. Okay, I mean, we can we can go with a full version for now. I don't think it's critical, you know, since we have basically zero latency, it doesn't really matter how big the files are um, from the perspective of loading times. It does matter from the par like from the parsing times because, you know, the minified and, and compressed files are actually easier on the parsers, but uh, we are gonna solve that at some point. Okay, so now we have a better look. Mm, let me think. So there should be a layout, yes. Container. Um, this is what we want. Uh, diff id app. I want it here. So this is our main thing class name uh, container, right? So we're gonna do that. Um, fluid, it will have 20 pixel gap. Okay, we, yeah, let's do fluid, I guess, is fluid. 
And in this case, we don't really need this linking anymore, right? So, um, I'm gonna kill all of that and we're gonna default to this. Uh, no, we're actually gonna do it this way and we are gonna default to home. So it's gonna be like either slash or default path is home. Right, okay, we got the container. Uh, now the home page is doo -doo 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 -doo. elements. Let's see what we have here. We have these boxes which could be used Images are just images. There was cards as well. Maybe we can use a card here. Oh, I guess I guess let's go for cards, but we don't actually care about. Yeah, we, we do care. We need um, the grid here, right? So we have to do div um, class name columns. Okay, and then Basically, our series thing should be a class name uh, column. So this should be column and um, I guess, yeah, I guess let's take a card. Unless there is anything better fitting. I don't think so, right? Yeah, let's just go for a card. Okay, so this is going to be a um, column and a card, which uh, I think should work. Just going to copy all that stuff. Um, let's see. So we got card. Uh, yeah, first of all, let us do this. Say class name. Card image uh, four by three. Uh, it is not four by three as far as I remember. Or we can just do this. Um, then alt can be series title. Mm it should be actually three by four is like it's not actually three by four is I, I think they're all preset size right what's the side of them uh, 160 by 240 uh, there was a helper functions here responsive helpers not one was it in images uh is 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 square is two by one one by one i guess we don't actually care about that we can just remove that right uh no i want to do that over here so let's just kill it and see how that works out so we got media left this is gonna be um components card media left is this which we don't actually need so we can kill that it's gonna be our title which is um serious title it's gonna be a count so as you know just say videos count and say a uh, serious count here I mean, it would be good to have video description, but we don't actually have it, so I'm gonna kill that. Um, format, there we go. What do you not like? Prop validation. That's a topic for another live stream, but let's see. <laughs> um, close enough. Right, okay, I guess we need um, some sort of rows that screwed up in a epic way. Okay, columns contain as many columns. Okay, so it's basically just gonna, I guess we have to split them. Uh, okay, right, so I'm just gonna tile them like this, which is a bit, uh, you know, that, that looks amusing enough. <laughs> okay, um, I guess, let me think. I mean, one way would be to chunk them uh, into like four or five things and then just tile it on a screen. Um, I guess why not? Let us add our favorite tool, Lodash. Import from Lodash. There we go. So what we want to do here is... Um,
chunk, right? Uh, and this is going to be series. So this is going to be four. And then we're going to take each of those chunks and map them uh, into exactly what we had outside. Except this is going to be chunk. And um, this actually will not be columns. This will be just like this, I think. Uh, God damn it. Okay. So we're still missing the loader actually. Ah, there we go. That look that looks way nicer. Still um, not quite very good, but you know, it's okay. It's an okay looking uh, layout. I guess, I mean, I think we can do better, but you know, for now, I think that is sufficient. Um, I do, why? Oh, because the key is here. Key uh, chunk. So there's going to be chunk. I we're going to use in index in here because we don't really have any better solution, right? I think ESLint is going to come play in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. But we don't really have any way to do it better. Cool. So yeah, we got our nice series layout uh, and our first bit of uh, scraping. That's actually a lot of series. Holy shit. Our first bit of scraping, um, 500 videos. That is a lot. Um, but yeah, I think that would be a good point to wrap it up. Let me just see. Okay, so we just added the Bulma and styled git commit add Bulma uh, for styling and apply nice layout to a serious catalog. Obviously, this is not the final because you know it's not exactly usable and there's way too many things on the screen, but it's a good start. So we can go with that. Um, yeah, I guess we can wrap it up here for today. I since uh, like we have the Easter here in Germany in the next four days are going to be holidays. I'm, I'm planning to do a next live stream sometime over this holiday. So tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I don't know, all of those are holidays. So it's, let's see how that goes and when I have time. But um, Hopefully next time we can actually finish the API because I don't think there's actually the trickiest part is going to be the um, episodes like getting the episode because Crunchyroll has this weird splitting. As I said, like one option would be to use the uh, YouTube downloader, like YouTube DL thing, um, because it does have uh, support for Crunchyroll and it, it can indeed split the uh, data so like combine it into thing and in stream to standard output so we can try to pipe it into the video tag in the page but yeah let's see let's see how it goes i'm not 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 convinced not sure so the next time i guess we're going to create the get episode thing make the episodes clickable and then try to play the episode with a basic video player and um, maybe add a surge i don't know let's see uh, by the way Search and Crunchyroll is terrible. I never can tell where the heck are the series that I'm looking for. The search UI is just abysmal here. But yeah, um, I guess that would be it. So thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. And I see you in the next stream. Bye.